Ooh, what's going on? What's going on? Manny Pacquiao's back in the news again. So, um, we all know Earl Spence just had his um, fight uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, coming back from his car accident and uh, took on Danny Garcia. And um, in the fight, you know, he did his thing. I think he had a spectacular performance. Um, some people were talking about how he was going to knock out Danny and all this other stuff. And I was like, that's not going to happen. Um, he'll beat Danny, but reality is probably going to be a you know twelve round decision, um, and that's what ended up what it, that's what it basically ended up being. Um, he had a better performance against Danny than um, I would say better than everybody else, better than Sean Porter, uh, better than Keith Thurman. It wasn't a thing where the fight was close in any way. Um, he just dominated, you know, pretty much from beginning to end, and um, showed the separation between him and Danny, and um, came out victorious. And now. Manny Pacquiao's come out um, since that performance, and um, what he's saying is that, you know, that, you know, he believes he's going to be able to beat uh, Earl Spence. He's saying the main thing, you know, that you need in order to beat Earl Spence is speed, you know, and he believes he has the speed in order to be able to do it. And what he also believes is that um, Earl Spence has slowed down, that he's not the same fighter as he was prior to the accident, you know. So because of that, further it's furthering his belief that he'll be able to dominate or be able to uh, beat um, Earl Spence in a fight. You know, and I've already said it before, I believe those two will be fighting this year. Um, I believe it will happen, you know, and um, I'm thinking probably the second half of the year. Um, Earl Spence was talking about how he was fighting and he's fighting in the summer. Um, then after the summer, I guess probably going to have a fight, you know, later on, close to the end of next year. Um, so he already knows what basically his schedule is and he knows what his dates are going to be. I know other people want him to fight earlier, especially just due to the fact this was his first fight after a long, long time away from the, um, from the game. But it looks as if the date that he's going to be returning on is sometime in the summer, you know? So that being the case, I could see him fighting Manny Pacquiao in the summer. You know, I could see him, that fight actually happening in the summer. Or I could see him fighting Manny Pacquiao at the end of the year. I could see Manny Pacquiao taking on the fight with someone like a Danny Garcia. Not a Danny, but a Mikey Garcia. Someone that he's wanted to fight before. But I could also see him taking on Earl Spence next. You know, people have been talking about this Conor McGregor thing. Him fighting Conor McGregor. I don't see that happening. Um, with the amount of money and funds that Conor McGregor is generating. He's basically the A-side in this equation. It would pretty much have to be like a UFC event. And uh, who they work basically with ESPN. And I just don't see it happening, you know, especially since Manny Pacquiao uh, made a comment saying that in order for that fight to happen, you'd have to have some kind of control. Don't see it happening. You know, Conor McGregor right now is taking in over a million plus, you know what I'm saying, views. You know, they say two million sometimes with the UFC and Dana White, but Dana White, when he talks pay per views, he counts the entire world what they sold. He doesn't just count. U.S. pay-per-views, which everybody else does. You know, he's going to count everything. It is, if in Malaysia, they're charging $1 pay pay-per-view and they sell 500 he's or 10000 he's counting that. He's putting that into the total. So, but, and that's, I just don't see it happening. So it makes no sense for them to have him fight Manny Pacquiao. Him get hurt, because that's what's going to happen. Conor McGregor's going to get hurt. He's going to get his behind kicked and he's going to get stopped. Makes no, do it for what? Why do you want to damage him from? This is a guy where right now, since the main guy is gone in Khabib, everything's pretty much open for McGregor right now. So he's in a space where he could actually, you know, become the champion and he can dominate for a couple of years. So you're talking about probably the next three, four years, two fights a year, two million pay per view, one to two million pay per views. It's a lot of money. So at first glance, a Manny Pacquiao fight might seem like a big thing, but. If you look at it long term, it's not in their best interest to do that fight. So I don't see it happen. You know, they're not going to make them. It's going to be a million, two million pay-per-views, maybe. Maybe two million pay-per-views. But that whole thinking, if you think it's going to do what it did with Floyd, it's not happening. You get one opportunity to fool people like that, then that's it. <laughs> it's done deal, you know. But I could see them happy. it happening. Uh, the fight between um, Manny Pacquiao and Earl Spence. But my only thing with Manny Pacquiao is, you know, you, you know, you saying all this stuff, that's, that's cool. You saying that he slowed down, you saying that speed is the key to beat him and all these things. That's fine. But if you're going to say all those things, then you need to fight him. You can't just make those kind of comments and then put, then not put any kind of action towards it. You got to put some kind of action toward it, you know, 
And if you're going to fight somebody else next, you know, and not him next, again, I think it's the wrong time and it's the wrong place to speak about that. You know, once, let's say if you're going to fight uh, Mikey Garcia and you fight Mikey Garcia and you beat him, then you start talking because now you have, you know, that want, that need and that willingness to fight him next, then cool, then do it. Because all the roadblocks that, like, let's say, are in there between, like, let's say, a Crawford and everybody else, those aren't there. You know, this isn't a Crawford screaming out, oh, I want 50 50, you know, for these fights, even though I don't generate the amount of, the amount of you know, funds to, to want that, you know, or to, you know, to, you know, demand that. It's not that type of situation. It's not a different type of situation where you're dealing with two different entities, you know, with, PB, with PBC and, and top rank. Everything is in-house. You know, there's not going to be any issue when it comes to the finances. That's going to be taken care of. Whether because there's not going to be any issue with getting gypped like a Bob Aaron's going to do. You know, money being hidden from you like was done with Manny Pacquiao when he was with Top Rank, when he was with Bob Aaron, who literally stole hundreds of millions of dollars from him. Um, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff, you know, when you were uh, in this particular situation. All... Is basically the only question is, do you want to fight him next or not? That's it. All the only thing that's keeping these two fighters from fighting each other is Manny Pacquiao saying, I want to fight him next. Everything else, boom, 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 just gets lined up <laughs> very quickly. Very, 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 very quickly. You know, so it's, you know, it's cool that he has the confidence. Um, it's cool that he has, you know, the guncture. To say those things, but you, you gotta put actions to your words. You gotta put actions to your words. And right now, unfortunately, all we're getting is words. You know, and I like I said, I believe he's gonna fight him later on this year. I believe he's gonna fight him on next year with this year. But if you're going to speak, if you're gonna continue making these type of comments when he fights, if you're gonna be putting those things up, the you know, the senator is watching and all these type of things then you have to put that action towards it and set it up and actually fight him. And not only talk about this, but show us. Because a lot of people say Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford is the biggest fight that can happen in the welterweight division. I have to say 100% F no. It's not. People can say what they want. I understand that's what the assumption is. It's not. The biggest fight that can be made right now in the welterweight division is Manny Pacquiao versus Earl Spence. You got two people, you know, who both do generate pep reviews, who both generate high gates, who both have their huge fan bases, you know, and you get those two together, even though all the Manny Pacquiao fans that were not buying the pay-per-views before, they're going to buy this one. They're going to buy this one. You know, this is a fight where it just, it, it will transcend boxing. You have a one person in that equation that transcends boxing. And when a person like that faces someone of this level of, of competition, of this caliber, it's fireworks. This is, would be the first boxing event to sell over a million pay-per-views in the United States, I believe, in a long time. You know, in a very, very long time. So we have to see how, the, you know, everything pans out. But everything that's going on in the world, you just don't know, man. Everything's just day to day. So... You just don't know. But we'll see. But for now, like, subscribe, share. I'm out.